Welcome to Metro TV. I'm Robert and this is Teresa and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick messy updo. Welcome back guys. Um, now with Teresa's hair I already have her started out with a beachy wave if you look back at the Metro videos. Um, what I'm going to do is once I have her prepped with the beachy waves I'm going to go ahead through with my shine crafter from Sebastian and I'm just going to pull out the waves from her hair just to get it prepped. So I'm just going to take a pea sized amount of my shine crafter wax from Sebastian and I'm going to emulsify it in my palms and just so you don't glob it all in the same spot just get it to a nice consistency so it's nice and even throughout your hands and working from your, the top of the head you're going to pull out all of your curls this is going to break them up for you so they're going to look nice and loose and not like they're formed with a curling iron and once again if you don't know how to do the beachy wave look you can go back through the Metro TV videos and there is a demo for that okay so working in from one of our sides on her head we are just going to draw the hair back just right behind her ear. Not too taut, not too snug. If you want, you can actually leave some hair draping down. And you are just going to tie it up into a ponytail. Now, if you wanted something that was a little bit more classy, you can actually bring it up pretty snug. You can even do this with straight hair. But all you're going to do is tie a ponytail in the hair and take any neighboring piece of hair and just wrap it right around the ponytail. That way we don't see the rubber band. Now if you wanted something that was a little bit more classy, you can actually bring it up pretty snug. You can even do this with straight hair. But all you're gonna do is tie a ponytail in the hair and take any neighboring piece of hair and just wrap it right around the ponytail. That way we don't see the rubber band. Once we have the rubber band concealed, we're gonna take one bobby pin and we're just gonna secure it behind the rubber band so we don't see that rubber band or that bobby pin. So now working from the back of the ponytail, we're gonna divide it into two separate sections. And working with our two separate sections, you are gonna create a fishtail braid. So using two sections of hair, you're gonna work from the back and you wanna join it with the opposite section of hair. So working from my right side of my braid, I'm gonna pull one strand of hair over from the back and join it with the left side. And then I'm just going to alternate from left to right and right to left, working from the back of the section. The tighter the braid, the more elegant the look. The looser, the more messy you can make it. Now if your braid starts to loosen up, that is completely fine. We're just going to pull them apart anyhow. And it doesn't have to be perfect if you're shooting for a messy look. And once you get to the end of the braid, that's when you're going to rubber band it off. Once you have that band in, you're going to complete this, the same exact fishtail braid on the other side of the head. So working in from the front, we're just gonna draw her hair back. And we're gonna, we're gonna spice it up a little bit. We're gonna bring this braid slightly lower on this side. Check your position, make sure it's not too taut. Make sure the curls are exactly where you want them. And before going any farther, make sure you take the hair right next to that rubber band and just wrap it around it just to conceal the band in the hair. So once you have both fishtail braids done, your last step is to separate them both just by lightly tugging on them and then pinning them down uh, wherever you want them in the hair form. So we're just gonna start in the back taking the larger braid and you're just gonna separate it slightly. So once you have it separated, you're gonna come in from underneath and just take one of your bobby pins and you're gonna bring it underneath the one braid and you're gonna loop it around and pin it right into the top. Now loosening your second braid. You're gonna draw it over and take the remaining hair and pin it in underneath, concealing the end from your braid. Okay, so you just want to grab your Zero-G hairspray, give a little spritz just to polish up any loose ends or any frizz, and that's pretty much it for your messy updo. So that's it from Metro TV. Make sure you follow us at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm Robert, and I'll see you next time.